Hello, good morning students. In this class, we discuss about separately excited DC motor. So, a DC motor consists of field part that is taken and second is load. In case of separately excited DC motor, its field is in separately excited DC motor. Field winding is field winding is field winding is separately excited. Separately excited with DC source with DC supply or DC source. From the word means separately means in this type of motor, its field circuit is separate from its rotor due to be nearly separately excited DC motor. And this field circuit is separately excited with DC source. Now next we calculate for torque speed characteristic. So first of all, we discuss about EMF uh, vacuum. EMF. Back EMF in DC motor. Back EMF in DC motor. Back EMF in DC motor is produced in the rotor inductors. So, which is given by Faraday law of electromagnetic induction, we use EMF in the rotor. And if I continue, we use EMF in the rotor. Or back in my D is equal to D by one D. Let let five in the five in the plus person P total number of holes total number of holes. So total plus so net plus. Net flux will be P into 5 because flux per ohm is 5, so due to P number of poles, total flux will be P into 5. Speed of motor, speed of motor is equal to N of C. We can say that N of 160 RPS. N upon 60 RPS. So time taken in one revolution means if there is N revolution per second or per minute means N upon 60 or N revolution per 60 second. So in one second total number of revolutions will be N by 60. Now uh, J is equal to total number of conductors in rotor circuit in rotor circuit there is total number of rotor circuit and A is equal to number of parallel paths number of parallel paths so in particular E is equal to E is equal to D5 upon D means total flux is P into 5 upon total time T into total number of conductors due to one vacuum due to one conductor or in a one conductor if there are zero number of conductors then vacuum will be P5 upon D into Z and average vacuum E average P5 upon into Z and 60 upon N. The evolution path we know in speed is N RPM, so N upon 60 RPS. So we can write time in case of frequency. So we put in 60 upon N. So if we write 
lines phi can be there phi can be there upon 68 phi can be there upon 68 or this is the equation for vacuum bag in this of dc motor equal to phi can be there upon 68 Now next we write terminal equation for terminal voltage. So now we have the equivalent circuit of secondary exciting DC motor. Equivalent circuit. Equivalent circuit of secondary exciting. Similarly for torque, 
are number one. Our P is equal to what we can write. Our P is equal to P into omega. Our P is equal to what? P is equal to our P is equal to our P into omega. What we can write. Our P is equal to P upon P. Our P is equal to V into I. type of characteristic is known as grouping characteristic now the next concept is characteristic of separately excited dc motor next one is torque is characteristic of separately excited dc motor now 
Now, from equation number three, we draw a torque spring characteristic of circuitry excited AC motor. Suppose this is torque three and this is speed omega. Maximum speed omega n. Now, when there is change in torque P, then speed will decrease. So, the characteristic for a separately excited AC motor is this. This is the torque speed characteristic. Torque speed characteristic. Of separately excited DC motor. Of separately excited DC motor. Of separately excited DC motor. Some points are first the separately excited motor field circuit is separate from armature circuit, so flux is constant. The separately excited DC motor, the separately excited DC motor, field circuit is constant, field flux, field circuit is separately excited, separately excited. From DC source. So its field flux is constant. So its field flux is constant. So in torque speed characteristic, there is no rule of flux because this flux is constant in separately excited DC motor. Similarly, if we draw a torque speed characteristic for shunt motor, in case of a shunt motor, or we can say that self excited DC motor. So, in self excited DC motor, when there is change in speed, when there is change in speed, then there is slight change in flux. Because in self excited DC motor, its field circuit is so its field circuit and armature circuit. Both are excited with the same force. So when we draw a torque speed characteristic for some type of machine, so it is slight more to be. So this becomes torque speed characteristic. Torque speed characteristic for some type of over sun motor or self excited sun motor DC motors. So in this way, in this class, we have discussed about the working of separately excited DC motor, its torque speed characteristic, back EMF, all things.